Here is my filming of the Twin Towers from the helicopter. Starting to get really close now, a very grey day. And here they are, really up close. on the New York World Yacht Dinner Cruise and we are leaving up the Hudson at twilight and we'll watch New York turn into darkness with all its sparkly lights as the cruise progresses. I didn't think I'd be eating dessert sometime during my life sitting right beside the Statue of Liberty on a cabaret dinner boat cruise. That was an awesome experience. Just showing you a little bit of party time inside the actual boat itself. Everybody having great fun. Here they are, the magnificent towers at night. Looking at the Twin Towers from the actual top of the Empire State Building. End of the street, the Twin Towers, I'm getting closer to them in the bus. Looking down the towers, I'm just about leaning backwards to try and get all that into my film. This is the ground floor inside the building. Inside the main lobby with these beautiful palm trees growing inside. Lots of restaurants and cafes. And here is the magnificent sculpture outside and water fountains. Absolutely beautiful complex with lots of outdoor seating for the workers to sit and enjoy their lunch on a sunny day. And here I am going through to get up the tower and security in there was pretty high. You had to have your baggage checked. It was like checking in at an airport. And here I am, on top of the world, view from the Twin Towers, which no longer exist. The most amazing view 
in the world that nobody can any longer enjoy. This is now all part of history. And why? We have to ask why. Hundred and twenty two floors up. can be a lot of interference from equipment up there when you try and film um, which is the same thing that happens when you're up the Empire State Building also but makes an interesting effect over tower number two Yes, a great view of Statue of Liberty zoomed in from up there also. From September the 11th, 2001, New York would never be the same. Now I'm on the Liberty Island Ferry and you're going to get a spectacular view of the towers as the boat goes out. and Ellis Island and Liberty coming back into Battery Park again after leaving Liberty Island a couple of um, helium balloons going past the towers air defense units of a possible hijacking at 838 Tuesday morning and six minutes later at 844 two F-15s received a scramble order at Otis Air Force Base on Cape Cod but two minutes later, at 8.46, American Airlines Flight 11, the first hijacked jet, slammed into the World Trade Center. Six minutes later, at 8.52, the F-15s were airborne and began racing towards New York City. But the fighters were still 70 miles away when the second hijacked jet, United Airlines Flight 175, hit the second Trade Center Tower. Shortly after that blast, the F-15s reached Manhattan and began flying air cover missions over the city. Carry up these attacks. Attacks analysts say that must have been at least months, possibly years. In the Men slipped and struggled. Teams used heavy equipment when they could. Bucket brigades when they had to. What we have to walk on is the steel garters, the twisted garters, and uh, you know a one-inch rebar that, that that held up the concrete walls. And this is going to make it. Obviously, very slippery and more difficult to walk around. 10,000 tons of twisted steel and concrete removed so far. But this is difficult and dangerous work with diminishing returns. Hello? Anyone there? 
Not a single survivor of Tuesday's attack has been found alive in nearly 36 hours. Adding to the misery, reports looters are now posing as rescue workers. But the saddest scam so far... A woman in medical scrubs showed up in an RMP from the 6th Precinct. She was hysterical. She was holding a cell phone. A woman who last night told police her husband had called from a cell phone. He was buried beneath tower number one, she said, with nine other people. And it was all fake. There was no husband. Uh, there was no phone call. Her hopes put rescue was in real danger and delayed their real one. Some 4,700 people still missing. Families told today to take toothbrushes and combs to the morgue so medical examiners can match DNA samples to body parts. 14,000 different businesses were destroyed or damaged. Five buildings have collapsed. 20 others sustained structural damage. It is a simply overwhelming task the president saw today up close. And the workers welcomed his presence as they refused to give up hope.